when the enemy's trying to kill you, go low. <laughs> I said, oh my God, that was somebody's word. I felt it go out of me. When the enemy's trying to kill you, go low. Don't stick your head up. Don't stick your chest out. Don't be important. When the devil is trying to destroy you, always go low. He would never expect you to go low. You're too high to go low. That's why the javelin kept missing because the javelin was coming at this level and David was living at this level. Somebody duck. Welcome to the moment of truth. Prophetess Celestia is out again for TD Jakes. This time around, it was a judgment of God before God will take his life. Stay tuned till the end. Next, there will be scandals among the high and the mighty. So I saw a row of thrones seated in high positions. Earthquake hit those thrones. They started to shake and people began to fall out of the thrones in public and shameful falls. The Lord said that Bishop T.D. Jakes will have one of the biggest scandals of all time in the Christian church. One of the biggest shaming falls before God finally judges him in taking his life. The Lord said this man is not a straight man. He is not a heterosexual man. His name will be named by the people he has been with. His scandal will involve his sexual orientation and God says that this is when people will finally see who they have been following with a lot of these pastors and spiritual leaders. So this prophecy came before the other one. This one is September September 1st that the Lord first said that on top of being a false prophet, on top of misleading people, on top of, he called it financial impropriety, which means that there is severe questions about what happens to money in the potter's house. He says that this man is a wolf in sheep's clothing, that this man is a Freemason and that he is brotherhood. This is what the Lord revealed months ago in the false prophets prophecy. But now in this life call God brought out that this man is not interested in women but is bent towards males but not only that has harmed is, the ham is God too harsh on TD Jakes or do you think Celestia is lie or Celestia is lying or she's wrong the next video is um, what Sarita says and the action she wanted to take concerning what is going on now. This should be a lesson to all the pastors out there that is messing about with God Almighty. Stay tuned. Jakes is named in a federal lawsuit against musician Sean Diddy Combs. The wife of renowned pastor T.D. Jakes has revealed her desire for a divorce. The reason behind this decision? The revelation that T.D. Jakes has been unfaithful to her, Sarita Jakes, who has been married to T.D. Jakes for over 30 years, has always been a pillar of strength and support for her husband. However, recent revelations of infidelity have rocked their seemingly picture-perfect marriage. In a heartfelt statement, Sarita Jakes opened up about the pain and betrayal she has been enduring. She expressed her disappointment and hurt over T.D. Jake's actions, stating that she can no longer continue to turn a blind eye to his cheating, despite the public persona of T.D. Jake's as a respected and influential pastor, his private life has been marred by infidelity. Sarita Jake's has made it clear that she deserves better, and will not tolerate such behavior any longer. This shocking revelation has sent shockwaves through the religious community, as many have looked up to the Jake's as a model couple. Sarita Jake's courage to speak out about her husband's infidelity serves as a powerful reminder that even the most respected individuals can be capable of betrayal. As Sarita Jake's continues to navigate this difficult time in her life, she serves as an inspiration to others who may be facing similar struggles in their marriages. Her strength and resilience in the face of adversity are a testament to her unwavering faith and determination to seek the happiness and fulfillment she deserves. God is touching everywhere in Jake's family. God has been warning him for a very long time, right from the day of Eddie Long, but he was busy chasing money, chasing fame, chasing connections, 
all over the place. But now, the end has come. Because when God starts it, ah, the judgment of God is very swift. God is merciful, but let's see what will happen. And this is how TDJ's response. You're coming in it to be swept out of it. God is not going to change the situation because you're getting ready to move. Nudge your neighbor's hand, getting ready to move. It don't matter what you do with it. It don't matter that you don't like me. It don't matter that you don't appreciate it. Even if you're not. Jax is very, um, how, how do I put it? Very hopeful. Very, very hopeful. He said the blood of Jesus cleanses everything. And the blood of Jesus we cleanse him. So let's see. He's very hopeful. I hope he actually repented and is sorry for all he has done. If you enjoy the video, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And I will see you on my next video. Bye for now. And for all of you that keep saying it's a lie. The church is not empty. They've not chased him out of his church. They've not done this. They've not done that. Have you seen this now?